How's it going, people? Well, now that we're all painfully aware that we're not good people, let's uh, read a gold book. That's not very good either. All right. Chapter 5 of Mormon. Mormon relents and again leads a Nephite, so he's inconsistent. Gave his word and went back. Oh, well, he did it for a good cause. He just loves these Nephites. Lamanites outnumber Nephites. Crime and carnage. Mormon's abridgment of the records. So he's going to explain the process. I'm looking forward to that. This is, of course, Mormon Jr. Because uh, every other character is a junior here. <laughs> Named after their daddy. One. But first. I bet you'll never guess how this this chapter starts off. Damn it! Don't support it too damn fast. Yeah, there we go. Paper plate. All right. That's never happened with my pal, old Chubb, before. Guess I was over eager. And it came to pass in verse 1. Ah, nice creamy head though. It doesn't pour up that high usually. But I I think I just went too fast. Gotta slow down. Delayed gratification. That I did go forth among the Nephites, and did repent of the oath which I had made that I would no more assist them. He could resist. And they gave me command again of their armies, for they looked upon me as though I could deliver them from their afflictions. Two. But behold, I was without hope. It's like when he was praying without faith. He just knew it wasn't going to work. For I knew the judgments of the Lord which should come upon them. For they repented not of their iniquities. They're fucked. But did struggle for their lives without calling upon that being whom created them. <laughs> Three. And it came to pass. Ah. Oh. Damn it, I hope those hiccups aren't coming back. That, the Lamanites, did come against us. As we fled to the city of Jordan, but behold, they were driven back that they did not take the city at this time. Four, and it came to pass. Yeah, I had a case of the hiccups between videos. I hate that. I think they're gone. Sometimes they come back. I get a bad. They tear me up. That they came against us again, and we did maintain the city. And there were also other cities which were maintained by the Nephites with strongholds. Uh, which strongholds did cut them off that they could not get into the country which lay before us to destroy the inhabitants of our our land. Five. And it came to pass
that whosoever lands, uh, whatsoever lands, we had pets passed by, the inhabitants thereof were not gathered in, were destroyed by the Lamanites and their towns and villages and cities were burned with fire. And thus three hundred and seventy and nine years had passed away. Six. And it came to pass that in the 380th year the Lamanites did come again against us to battle and we did stand against them boldly but it was all in vain you're a real downer there Mormon have a little faith you might have turned it all around I mean, can it, like, mustard seeds worth, like, knock a mountain over or some shit? Never did, but it could. Yeah, there's our clean fuel. <laughs> Faith. Put that in your tank. See how far you'll drive. All right. That in the 300 and... 80th year the Lamanites did come again against us to battle, and we did stand against them boldly. <clears throat> but it was all in vain, for so great were their numbers that they did tread the people of the Nephites under their feet. Ah, much better. Verse 7. And it came to pass. That we... Oh shit, it went dry on me. <laughs> And again take flight, and those whose flight was swifter than the Lamanites did escape. And those whose flight did not exceed the Lamanites were swept down and destroyed. That kind of goes without saying, you know. Eight. And now, behold, I, Mormon, do not desire do not desire to harrow up the souls of men in casting before them such an awful scene of blood and carnage as was laid before mine eyes. But I, knowing that these things must surely be made known, and that all things which are laid up must be revealed upon the housetops. Nine and also that a knowledge of things must come unto the remnant of these people, and also unto the Gentiles, who the Lord hath said should scatter this people. And this people should be counted as not among them. Therefore I write a small abridgment, daring not to give a full account of the things which I have seen. Oh, that's why it sucks. Oh, okay. He's self-censoring. I mean, he ran on and repeated a lot of shit, but he, at least he didn't give us any, like, excruciating details. Any 
like information that could give us a mental picture of any kind. Get going, Mormon. Now that I know that's what you meant, bravo. I thought you sucked all this time. He's actually a genius. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to help. All right. Because of the commandment, which I have received, and also that ye might not have too great sorrow because of the wickedness of this people. Ten. And now, behold, this I speak unto their seed, and also to the Gentiles, who have care for the house of Israel, that realize and know from whence the, their blessings come. Eleven. For I know that such will sorrow for the calamity of the house of Israel, yea, that uh, they will sorrow for the destruction of this people, that will sorrow that this people had not repented, that they might have been clasped in the arms of Jesus. What a bummer. Name this down. Uh, Twelve. Now these things are written unto the remnant of the house of Jacob. And they are written after this manner because it is known of God that wickedness will not bring them forth unto them. And they are to be hid up unto the Lord that they may come forth in his own due time. You can't rush God. You do it when he's ready. His own due time. Thirteen. And this is the commandment which I have received. And behold, they shall come forth according to the commandment of the Lord, when he shall see fit in his wisdom. 14. And behold, they shall go unto the unbelieving and the Jews, and for this intent shall they go, that they may be persuaded that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. And God, apparently. That the Father may bring about through his most beloved his great and eternal purpose in restoring the Jews for all of the house of Israel to the land of their inheritance, the one they stole from the Canaanites. But they were squatters, it was theirs. which the Lord their God hath given them. Yeah. Uh, unto the fulfilling of his covenant. Fifteen. And also that the seed of this people may be more fully may more fully believe his gospel more fully. So there's different levels of believing, huh? Uh, yeah. Man, I don't know, 72 virgins, that sounds awfully good. Just kidding. That's twisted. <laughs> I'm just joking. All right. Fifteen. And also that the seed of this people may be more may more fully believe his gospel, which shall go forth unto them from the Gentiles, for this people shall be scattered and shall become a dark, a filthy and a loathsome people. 
beyond the description of that which ever hath been amongst us, yea, even that which hath been among the Lamanites, and this because of their unbelief and idolatry. I thought they were cannibals also. Wasn't that pretty bad? Sixteen! For behold, the Spirit of the Lord hath already uh, ceased to strive with their fathers. To strive. And they are without Christ and God in the world. And they are driven about as chaff before the wind. 17. They were once a delightsome people. And they had Christ for their shepherd. Yay! They were led even by God the Father. 18. But now, behold, they are led about by Satan. Even as chaff is driven before the wind, like you just said earlier, on gold, or as a vessel is tossed about upon the waves without sail or anchor, or without anything wherewith to steer her, we get it. Damn! And even as she is, so that are they. Wow. Nineteen. And behold, the Lord hath reserved their blessings, which they might have received in the land for the Gentiles who shall possess the land. Twenty. But behold, it shall come to pass. That's better. Damn, hiccups are trying to come back. Damn it. That they shall be driven and scattered by the Gentiles. Like you'd said earlier. Lots of repetition. And after they have been driven and scattered by the Gentiles. Instead of saying, and after that, sorry, we're writing on gold. We have to you know, be frugal. <sighs> Behold, then will the Lord remember the covenant which he made unto Abraham. He's got this little forgetting problem, doesn't he? He's always like, oh, and then the Lord remembered these people after 400 years. Whatever. Uh, sorry, trying to find the place. <laughs> yeah, remember the covenant which he made unto Abraham and unto all the house of Israel. 21. And also the Lord will remember the prayers of the righteous, which have been put up unto him for them. 22. And then ye, uh, and then, O oh ye Gentiles, how can ye stand before the power of God, except ye shall repent and turn from your evil ways? 23. Know ye not that ye are in the hands of God? Ah, no. Know ye not that he hath all power and he is, and his great command, at his great command, the earth shall be rolled together as a scroll. Are we pillaging Isaiah again? 24. Therefore, repent ye, and humble yourselves before him. 
lest he shall come out in justice against you, lest a remnant of the seed of Jacob shall go forth amongst you as a lion, and tear you in pieces, and there is none to, to deliver. And I somehow stumbled through. Chapter 5. I wonder what 6 looks like. All right, I'll just do some DNC instead. Now, you know what? I'm going to do another one of these. I'm going to do one more chapter of the BOM after this. So stay tuned. And if you had enough, peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever you, the fuck it is you're having, and I don't blame you. I understand. <laughs>